When we often studied um, when you have your first child and how many children you have, it was always socially deterministic. So we thought of things such as childcare, availability, such as level of education. The main aim of the project uh, that we started four years ago was to look at is there a genetic or biological component of fertility. We found that there were 12 genetic variants that we could isolate that were related to when do you have your first child and how many children do you have. And we found that they did have some biological function related to things such as follicle stimulating hormone, um, sperm differentiation, problems with uh, conceiving and having children. We were able to collect, uh, to analyze the data from uh, more than 340,000 individuals. So this is uh, the largest uh, genome-wide uh, association study on uh, human reproduction. We found that we could predict about 1% of the variability in when people have their first child, so age at first birth, using these genetic uh, scores. And we could predict about 0.2% of the number of children ever born. 1% sounds quite low, but you have to think about it like a big puzzle. And there's 2% here, 20% here, and they all describe little bits. Predictors such as, did you stay in education longer? Did your mother work? How many siblings did you have? And these variables, or these sort of aspects, when they're looked at alone, are all one little piece of the puzzle. But when we add in the genetic aspect, we increase the overall explanation, and we almost finish the puzzle. This study doesn't say that we're hardwired to have no children or 10 children or have children at the age of 24 or 29, but rather everyone has a certain probability or propensity um, to start having problems at fertility at a particular age. We see more and more that men and women, they, they want to stay into education longer, they want to uh, have their careers, and they're always asking, okay, how late can I wait? And um, for every individual, it's different, and it depends on their biology, it depends on their social economic circumstances. But if we look at it, we've isolated, and we're hoping that other follow-up studies will be able to really look at the reproductive clock and aging and be able to use this research in order to determine how late you can wait.